Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 1st to the 7th of... Sorry, my, I have a cushion behind me at the moment. I am... Um, been suffering from a herniated disc <laughs> so it just feels like there's a rock in my back at the moment and uh yes yeah, so i'm just sitting comfortably now so what do we have for pisces please angel spirits guide message for our lovely pisceans thank you message for pisces thank you first to the 7th of february 2021 thank you Okay, so we have the Page of Swords as your overarching energy. So what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Pisceans. Thank you for the week. Thank you. Oh my goodness, Pisces, we've got miracles. Um, expect the wondrous to emerge. Wow. That's pretty profound. Okay, what do we have for Pisces, please, angels? Message for our lovely Pisces, thank you. 1st to the 7th of February, 2021, thank you. Thank you. We have be assertive. This is about going for something. It's the green light energy to go for something now. If it feels right with your intuition, your heart and soul, there's definitely this energy of now is that there's a green light coming your way to just act. Okay. Take the initiative, you know. So we have three cards here, Pisces, as we always do, as you know. So the first card is the issue or challenge you face. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome should you take the advice. Then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, Pisces, so just take what resonates with you. So message for Pisces, please, angels, spirits, guides. Okay, I've got two cards there, which I'm just going to keep. I've got the chariot there and I have the ten of pentacles. Okay. Strength card is the advice from spirit, card of Leo. The chariot is a card of cancer. Three of pentacles. Okay. So can we clarify the cards on the table for Pisces, please? Message for Pisces, thank you. So we have, oh wow, the star. So the strength card, we have the emperor. Wow, we've got Aries, we've got Leo, Aquarius here as well with the star. And the seven of pentacles is clarified, clarifying the three of pentacles. And we have the hierophant bottom of the deck. Okay, Pisces. So, very nice energy indeed, the Page of Swords. Um, the Swords is to do with communication, truth, clarity, and the Pages can be messengers. So it feels like some messengers, some message coming to you that, that is in line with truth, clarity, something you want to hear, learning something, hearing something this week. It feels very beautiful. It's the beginnings of change, the beginnings of something new. Because the message is, you know, expect the wondrous to emerge. Miracles. 
And miracles are blessings. You know, we have the Hierophant here the, and we also have the star. So there are blessings being given to you here. You're going to receive some kind of blessing this week. Um, lovely, lovely energy here, you know. We have the Assertiveness card here, Pisces, which pretty much is what I said. There's a green light. Um, definitely an energy of take action. Uh, definitely an energy of asserting yourself. I mean, sometimes when I see this card, it is looking at something creatively. Uh, if it's about getting noticed or getting heard in a situation, and I don't know why I'm saying that, but it might well be for some of you, there is an element of be creative, be noticed, be assertive, be creative in your approach. Um, but definitely an energy of, of take action, be assertive, you know. Um, yeah, definitely feeling almost kind of like just some green light is coming your way here. So we have your challenge position, which is the 10 in tarot can be a completion. It can also be a goal. So the 10 of pentacles can be a goal, a money, career, finance goal. Um can sometimes represent the home and family as well, Pisces, or can be both, you know, could be money, career, finances, you know, supporting you, your family and your home. I mean, the chariot is a card of, it is a card of being assertive. You know, this, this chariot here takes the reins of these two sphinxes here, pulls them into balance and just charges in a straight line for what they want now, the goal in sight. So this very much feels like a goal to me. And there is victory, the chariot is a card of victory, success, determination, assertiveness. But, you know, all the while, remember, you're being guided by the canopy of the universe. The night sky that represents the night sky of the universe is over the chariots, is the chariot's roof. So even though you are, this is about moving forward, being assertive, taking action, uh, victory and success, you know, is achievable now you are absolutely being protected you know and guided by the universe on this journey and it's towards the goal at the start if you're losing hope that that isn't going to happen here that things aren't happening as quickly as you wanted them to the star is have hope have faith you're about to receive some kind of blessing from the universe and this is the Divine Wish Fulfillment card. It's very beautiful. It's very, very beautiful, Pisces. Um, card of Aquarius, the sense of renewal, hope, faith, optimism. You're on the right path. So if you're questioning, I'm not sure I'm approaching something in the right way, or I'm not sure putting all this effort into, it could be bringing greater success or money or material security or jobs or whatever this is in relation to here, Pisces. It feels for some of you, there is an energy of, of you're losing faith in the situation of it actually beginning to ha of it actually happening. And the message is, no, you can't lose hope, faith, because you are absolutely on the right path, even though you don't know it. Even though you might be questioning it, the message is, you're doing the right thing, you're going in the right direction, have faith, keep on putting your energy and action in this, because it is going to bring you the success, financial success, long-term material uh, security, for you, your family, your home. So very, very nice energy indeed. The strength card from Spirit is a major arcana. So this is about staying strong, staying in your power, being resolute. I'll also say Pisces in this energy there is something about you being persuasive this week. This is about understanding your own abilities. You know, the, the be assertive is having faith in your own abilities to go for something now, to know what you deserve. And again, it feels in this energy, you have all the knowledge that you need here. 
everything you're equipped with the experience knowledge if it's to do with money career finances you have everything that you need and again there's an energy of, of persuasion charisma you know in this energy that spirit is telling you acknowledge what you have because again the communication is very strong this week we have the emperor and the emperor is a card of aries i mean you might be dealing with an emperor you know this can be a leader um, so somebody in authority, somebody in charge. You might be speaking to somebody in authority, somebody in charge. As an energy, the emperor is somebody who is in their power, who takes charge, who takes control. Um, and he represents four, which is about foundation, stability, security. Um, he's also the empire, he very much about understands how to empire build. He's a great card of success. Um, very, very good in terms of money, career, finances in particular, because he's somebody who understands how to protect his home, his family, things that he, you know, wants to protect the most, his, his, you know, company or security, you know, that kind of energy. So for some of you, you could be dealing with a person of influence in a high position this week. And the message is you will be, you have the persuasion, you have the charisma this week, you have the knowledge um, that can bring positive change. So it could well be somebody that you're talking to this week. It could be some kind of leader. But again, as an energy, this is about stay in control, take control of a situation. This is also about just master those thought patterns. If you're questioning something, just master those thought patterns. No play, there's an energy of play to your strength. Yeah, I'm getting that strength. Play to your strength, persuasiveness, magnetism. I mean, call it what you will, but this is about, you know, you have some real enviable strengths here. If you're going for something now, promotions, um, job interviews, business investment opportunities, you know, it's that kind of thing that I'm very much feeling. Play to your strengths is what I'm getting quite clearly. Because it feels for some of you there is victory in sight, but it feels like there's a lack of faith. And this can be self, this can be self, know your true self. Yeah. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, which is a card of frustration it can be a card of i've come so far but you know seven of pentacles i'm not getting as far as i wanted i'm not getting to the end result as quickly as i wanted it's been a testing journey and this is a message of persevere keep going um because good things come to those that wait with the seven of pentacles but it's a card of persevere you know there have been tests here something has tested you financially career-wise, job-wise, money-wise, call it what you will, you know, definitely feel that with the Seven of Pentacles. But for some of you, it feels there's a message here, have faith, have faith. Um, yeah, I definitely feel this energy, you know, because it can, the, the Hierophant sometimes appears when we question things, you know, what's it all about, you know, um, why am I in this predicament? You know, why is it happening to me? You know, it's all about have faith. It's also a card of Taurus, which is a card of stability, security and safety. Very good in terms of money career as well, the Taurus sign. So the Taurus is the Hierophant. So it feels in this situation, Pisces, there is definitely this energy of have faith. Again, this is assertiveness. Expect the wondrous to emerge. Just keep going. Because for some of you, the three of pentacles can be the beginnings of success. So it could be new jobs, new partnerships, um, doing a project with somebody that has financial gain, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so it feels very, very good in that respect. And it is, it's, the three is about manifesting something new. So there is definitely this energy of keep going because you will 
enjoy the beginnings of success, accomplishment. And it feels like it, it is taking forever. There is an energy of frustration here, Pisces, but definitely this energy of have faith. You are being guided. So definitely feel in this end. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, Knight of Pentacles is the offer of the opportunity. Um, interesting that that's right underneath the Hierophant. Um, and it, it kind of ties in with the reading because it feels the Three of Pentacles is you are going to manifest the beginnings of new success here. Uh, just keep going. And again, this Knight of Pentacles is can be a long awaited thing because the knight moves, the knight of pentacles moves at a snail's pace. Um, but when he comes in, he brings solidity, security, something that you can build on for the long term. So it is worth the wait for that reason with the knight of pentacles. And he is somebody making you an offer. Um, that could be in terms of contracts, that could be in terms of um, a client coming in, that could be in terms of some investment coming your way, it can also be in terms of jobs, money, you know, that kind of energy. So have faith, it's coming. And it feels for some of you, it might start this week, uh, because this can be about a message, some kind of message, information, learning something, hearing something this week that feels like it starts the ball rolling. And you're being told from that, expect the wondrous to emerge. Oh, exciting Pisces. So I'm gonna pull a final message. Okay, yeah, I love it. We have protection. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. Very nice energy, Pisces. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.